come. Now for another future champion, this time in the sport of cycling. Meet a young woman with the goods to go all the way. At the World Junior Cycling Champs in Perth, a 17-year-old Auckland schoolgirl in her very first international competition won a silver medal in the 2,000 metre individual pursuit. Sarah Ulmer is a cyclist with a future. She's only been cycling for two and a half years, only concentrating seriously this year. And she's made enormous progress since winning the sprint and pursuit events at the New Zealand Junior National Champs back in March. When and how did you ever get into the sport of cycling? Um, well, I started through my school team. Yeah, our school's got a cycling team. And I um, started through there, and, and a friend of mine was, was racing for them. And she said, join, it's really cool, cool sport and everything. So I gave it a go and just went from there. Did you enjoy it when you first, you know, started to cycle? Yeah, yep, yeah, I, th I thought it was really cool. It's really enjoyable. Sarah is a third generation cyclist. Both her father and grandfather have represented New Zealand on the road and track. Grandfather Ron rode at the Empire Games in Sydney in 1938. And Father Gary has competed in several World Road Championships. What makes you such a good cyclist? Um, probably that fact, probably the fact that my my dad and my grandfather cycled, I guess, and, um, and my dad's given me heaps of help over the past, past few months, and I guess that, that's paid off. And has he basically been your mentor or your coach at all? Um, not, up, not up till um, this year, but this year he took over and, and decided that he, he'd coach me building up to the, the Junior Worlds. And has that been a pretty good relationship, father and daughter? Yeah, Does yeah. Does it have its testy moments? Oh, occasionally, but just very few of them. No, it's worked out really well on the whole. Yeah, it's great. So what's the biggest influence he's had on you? What's the, what's the best tip he's given you? Best tip he's given me? Piece oh, of advice. Just enjoy it, really. That, that was the best thing, yeah. Best bit of advice he's given me. Make sure you enjoy it, and I have. Sarah trained solidly for five months for the World Junior, cycling 350k a week on the road, with the last six weeks dedicated to track work. Did you give yourself any chance of winning a medal before you went across to Perth for the Junior World Champs? Um, well, leading up to it, we only had last year's results to go by, and I, I thought, um, judging by my, my um, time at the, the New Zealand champs, I, I sort of rated myself in the top half dozen, top five or six. Yeah, that's about it. Did the silver medal surprise you in the end? Um, after the qualifying round, it didn't surprise me because I qualified second, but, um, but on the whole, yeah, it was a nice surprise. <laughs> must be very tricky getting a balance between a sporting career and a career. Um, well, initially I, I didn't think I'd, I'd end up, um, I didn't think cycling would end up dominating my, <laughs> my decisions, but, but after the Worlds, yeah, it's, it's become the major, major thing in my mind at the most, so I'm putting my um, career choices on hold, if you'd like, <laughs> and, um, and concentrating on cycling next year. Sarah wants to be a vet, eventually, but her success so far has her aiming at the New Zealand Nationals next year and looking for selection in the Commonwealth Games team for Victoria. She'll still be a junior next year, so a gold medal at the next Junior Worlds must be a real chance. And those Junior World Champs will be held in Ecuador, and conditions there could be tough for Sarah because of the heat and the high altitude.